Underweight is a main indicator for malnutrition in children and more common in children from rural areas, possibly because of the influence of social economic status and different dietary practices. Underweight remains one of the most common causes of morbidity and mortality among children throughout the world. Various reports also indicate that underweight in children is mainly caused by inadequate food intake, low parental education, lack of sanitation, poor feeding practices, economic, social and cultural factors. Incidence of underweight youth in South Asia is 0.34%, which is the highest among the regions in the world as the IFAD report shows. Southeast Asia has the second highest rate at 0.38%. The national prevalence of underweight among school children was 13.7 and in rural areas, this rate was nearly double than urban areas. The prevalence of underweight among children in Terengganu, Malaysia was 17.9%. The first strategy is to work with parents to help their children achieve a healthy weight. Parents are among the figures who spend a significant amount of time with their children. Hence, parents play a great role in influencing them. Most parents may lack knowledge about the consequences of being underweight, which causes them to ignore the problem. In order to resolve the rising public health issue of underweight, schools must provide nutritious and safe school meals and implement effective solutions such as school health programs aimed at changing children's dietary habits. This is due to the fact that, other than at home, children spend most of their time at school, which might impact their eating habits, especially if their friends are also engaged in the school's health program. Programs that can be implemented by schools to combat childhood underweight include school feeding programs. Government plays an important role in undertaking this issue seriously to ensure that children who will be the next successor of our country grow with health. One of the strategies that need a significant measure is regarding the consumption of fruit and vegetables among children. Generally, children are more attracted to food that provides them with more energy, especially those with high glucose content rather than fruits and vegetables. Late intake of fruit and vegetables lead to undernutrition, thus causing underweight between children. A program with a goal of raising awareness about the disadvantages of being underweight and guiding parents to serve nutritious and appealing packed meals consisting of a variety of foods on different days can be held. Several activities can be provided, such as giving a talk, providing free kids' food containers, a simple bento recipe book, a meal time schedule, a food demonstration, and hosting a competition. School feeding programs are programs that provide not just school-based meal, but also take-home rations, home delivery and cash or vouchers when schools are closed, especially for the most vulnerable school-age children. This is to ensure that children who come from families with poor incomes can have access to food to prevent them from being underweight. While doing so, it is necessary to check the nutritional content of school meals and food packages to prevent the distribution of unhealthy foods and beverages. As it is quite a hazard to force children to take fruit and vegetables as part of their daily meal, we can initiate a gardening project focused on vegetables production that requires them to be actively involved in the plan. This program should be implemented in schools where the authorities need to provide a space for the vegetables gardening project. It is conducted through government funding provided for each school by supplying the equipment needed for the project. In summary, research shows that children who are underweight are more susceptible to contracting numerous diseases, which can influence their attendance and performance at school. They will eventually earn a high salary and be able to purchase nutritious food for both their adulthood and future lives. Their children will also grow into healthy teenagers and adults. 
We, as a manager, must play our role to protect the children from being underweight by supporting and implementing the government policies.